Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm giving you a tons of organizing and decluttering motivation. I have been working on my basement and I had shared individual videos of this but I thought I'd put it all together in case if you need that extra bit of motivation or you just need something that you can put on while you're cleaning without having to switch to another video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I hope you get all your work done that you intend to. feel a little awkward and somewhat embarrassed to share these disastrous messes in my house but sometimes it just gets so out of hand and this is what the second half of my basement looks like this has started off with storage for when the renos were happening and then I didn't completely clear it out after we were done and then the fall and Christmas came around and more decor got pulled out more decor got, decor got pulled put back and things just got misplaced mis well misplaced and not put where they were supposed to go and, or just simply put in a way and this is the result of that so I'm going to go and clean this up put everything pretty much everything in this room was not where it was supposed to be so that is what I was doing right now we had still had suitcases uh, a suitcase out from traveling couple bags from traveling um, there were wrapping paper that I brought in from the other room and we pretty much blocked the access to the water softener and the vacuum cleaner that was here so everything needed to be really put in a way the kids tend to pull out the sleeping mats and sleeping bags if they have a sleepover or mostly my son they um he has guys stay over if they go out to the bars because we do live in canada and the drinking age is 19 so to save on money they they crash in someone's house all together so they can uber together in one car so and I'm okay with that but like I said they never seem to put things where they go um, so just like I said lots of straightening out putting things away and just uh, making sure everything is in its own spot and I do did uh, put in systems a while back where you know I labeled the bins and put the bin everything has its own bin type of thing but that doesn't mean that things still make it in there if this is your first time stopping by my channel welcome I know that uh, most people that are in this channel do prefer to watch decorating videos but in order for me to uh uh, post on regular basis I do have to sprinkle in some cleaning and organizing which I do know that some of you like that as well so um, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you give it a thumbs up um, let me know if you are enjoying the cleaning videos organizing videos I do have several of them coming before I switch over to uh, full-on spring decorating and I will also be sharing just a, a, a short video for uh, Valentine's I don't do full-on Valentine's decorating I just add a couple Valentine's touches so I will be sharing that in probably a week or so with you guys so like I said if you're stopping by my channel welcome this is mostly a decorating channel with sprinkled and cleaning organizing and decluttering videos in between so if you enjoy what you see make sure you hit that subscribe button let me know down below you're stopping by for the very first time and uh don't forget to hit that like button as well i want to do it all with you by my side if you're in meet me here tonight be brave and come along i'll be your right promise we don't need no break lights we can travel the world so just say
So these two giant bins, one contains all of my greenery for all the seasons and the other one has cushions from outside chairs. Now I don't like to put that in the garage because I'm always afraid that mice are going to get into the bin. So I like to keep it down here. Um, however, it was not working where it was. So I did come up with an idea and I'm hoping that it does um, solve my issues with these giant bins. Do you guys keep boxes from electronics or small appliances once you buy them? I always thought you needed a box in order to be able to return it within that first year. Um, I know Costco, that's not the case in Costco, but everywhere else, I'm pretty sure you still need to have the original box that it came in. So I have a couple boxes here that I needed to put in my fruit cellar um, So the, because we just purchased a couple new things um, like the coffee maker was one of them so now that everything was cleared out of this room i just swept the floor i will run the vacuum after i just wanted to really get rid of all the big pieces that were here because i don't want to vacuum all that stuff up um over in the other area where we're going to move in. See, originally I thought I was going to get to my uh, craft room as well, but I think that's going to have to be a separate video on its own. But over here, um, this used to originally be the sh shelf contain all of my small appliances, the two shelves. But now since I have that whole storage at the back of the island, I am able to... Um, put some of those small appliances there so i am just going to try and condense um the appliances that are here onto one shelf and then maybe utilize the other shelf for my uh, pill decorative pillows and pillows from outside storage Drinking real wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the train I'll catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On the bed by night This or This or This or So this year I have made a decision that when I do my DIYs, when I'm crafting, I want to be really intentional with the items that I'm creating. Um, so that way I don't have all of this decor that I really don't know what to do with. I really want to create pieces that I can use in my house and will use or pieces that somebody else, maybe my friends or family might find uh, a way to use, use it. I have donated in the last year so much a homemade decor uh, whether it was to my friends goodwill uh, charities or whatnot but um 
I was finding that I was just creating pieces just so I could put out videos. So I have decided that that's no longer the case. I will definitely be intentional with the with the items that I'm creating. If I need to create things to uh, donate for charity, then that will be it. If I want to create new item, new pieces for my home decor, I will. But I'm not just going to mindlessly be DIYing. Um, it was really hard on me mentally to be constantly trying to come up with ideas so I can produce the videos so I have um, taken a step back from that over on my DIY channel and just really being intentional because like I said not only was it affecting me mentally when it came to trying to come up with uh, ideas and things to create but it was also really weighing in on me with all this clutter in the house so um like i said i have donated a ton i already have two bins to donate uh ready to donate now just from clearing out these sp the spaces and i haven't even touched the craft room and the decor the other decor area in there that's in there so i i do tend to switch on my decor i do switch on my decor seasonally but i also tend to kind of get sick of the decor that i have so that is why i do create a lot of my decor because it does cut on cost and i only really buy pieces that i'm certain i want to keep for years to come so um but uh, so I always have things that I, I donate because of that. I did go to the dollar store and picked up some of these giant um, vacuum seal bags and they work so good for pillows, blankets or clothes or anything like that. Um, I am not, just because my vacuum cleaner was upstairs and I did not want to go and get it, but um, so I did not suction the air out of these bags, but, um, and, and I don't, at this time need more space on the shelf so I did leave them as they are um, just in a bag so to prevent from dust sitting on them but I'm going to be putting them on that black shelf on the left side and I picked up four of these and I like I said I just love the way they work if you need uh, to uh, compress them and create more room for more store more things to store definitely try and use these bags these are from dollarama they're not like top quality i know you can pick them up on amazon for a lot more money and i'm sure they're a lot better quality but these work for me for what i need them so um like i said i will compress them as if i add more pillows because i do have one one obsession and that's pillows i did try to go ahead and buy some pillow covers as well just because they're a little bit easier to store but i still have a lot of pillows to store because i have pillows for every season and every occasion so uh, this area underneath the stairs i am still keeping as my entertainment closet i did move a lot of my stuff upstairs as well uh, now that like i mentioned before i have a bit more room but this is just um a bit more more stuff that i have
so I was contemplating while getting rid of this um, garland that I have this is extra garland but then I decided I'm just gonna keep it for one more year and see if I use it last year I was gonna get rid of them and then I didn't and I did end up using some of it around my doors for outside so I'm just garlands are so expensive so I don't want to just get rid of it and just to go and ahead and having to buy new stuff next year so i'm gonna keep it i do have a spot for it now that i had um compressed some of my pillows into this uh these bags and uh, move them into this location it freed up some space over there so i'm gonna keep them and then i'm gonna decide what to do with uh with that with the next year if i don't use it that's probably what i'm gonna uh, end up doing is donating them uh, these are all of my big signs for outside so I like to keep them in between these uh, two shelves if they fit perfectly I also have tons of curtain rods because we have taken down all of our curtains on the main floor I still don't have anything up there because I can't seem to decide what I want um, stuff that I priced out um, is extremely expensive I think it would be about seven thousand dollars to get the whole main floor into the curtain into the blinds that I want so I just just really want to make sure that it is what I want before I go ahead and commit to spending that kind of money I think it's looking much better than what it did so all my camping travel stuff is here and then I have just a little overflow from pantry some monitors and my stand-up deep freezer these are 
extra shopping bags that I have to figure out whether I'm gonna I'm gonna go through them, see which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm gonna check. And then this area is looking much better. So all my seasonal storage is here, my deep freezer, and then I got paints and then just several small appliances i might move a couple of them like the waffle and the pasta maker upstairs i think i still have room for those but everything else i'm going to keep here because it's just like there's a meat grinder meat packer uh rotisserie meat slicer deep fryer and then a one of those roasting electrical roast roasters so those are things that i don't use like even once a month so maybe rotisserie but I don't want it upstairs anyways because it's kind of messy and I just don't want it and then I have my big signs here I have more big signs over there but then my pillows outdoor indoor seasonal and then here I, I was gonna flip these two around but I decided that the shelves aren't deep enough for the pillow bags so i just kept it the way it was i did take a lot of my charcuterie boards and things like that upstairs because i have the back of the island it's full cabinets and there's like three double ones so i have lots of room up there so i did take some of that stuff up i'll probably take summer plates up when it's summertime but everything else i think it's good to stay here i have room for plates i don't have any paper plates right now i think i maybe have like five upstairs and then i want to put some paper towels here and i still need to get some kleenexes so this concludes this area so this was a big job like you saw yourself but i think a video on its own is going to be my craft room because that needs some decluttering organize well <sighs> It has an organizational system in place. I just need to start using it and utilizing it. So I just have to kind of go through everything, put all this decor up on the shelves, declutter some of the decor, and then go from there. So stay tuned. This will be probably a Friday video. I'm determined to get all this done this week because if you are watching uh, my DIY channel, I'll probably be sharing another repurposed video because uh, I have nowhere to DIY. So I'm going to get this done and over with and then I can move on. Upstairs is not too bad for decluttering. I think the worst place is my master ensuite and my closet and the rest of the house should be fairly smooth sailing. So I'm going to... Uh, finish the video here so i'm so glad that you stopped by and watched it till the end don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're stopping by for the very first time and i will see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching bye hello my friends and welcome to my channel today we are moving on into my craft room so if you had missed a couple videos before that i had organized all of these areas as well as the rec room down there and my office. So I will have those linked in the eye in the sky as well as in a playlist in the description box. But now it's time to tackle this ugly mess. I, as I've been cleaning the rest of it, I've been just piling stuff that needed to go in here, in here without actually putting it where it goes because there was stuff everywhere. So I thought I'm going to have a completely separate video dedicated to this space. This is where I DIY most of the time uh, for my DIY channel. Um, I also do some uh, recording of some plan with me's at that desk, hard to believe, but it is where it is. So um, I'm going to get started with putting things away. I want to declutter a couple areas and just... Uh, straighten up the system that's in here that apparently is not working very well so let's get started so first order of business is to put everything where it goes <laughs> that's pretty much the the first uh, half an hour of my uh, decluttering was to put everything where it goes and anything that i felt like i wasn't going to use or i did not use 
in the last decorating I really thought about it and then I had either donated it or um, or just threw it out because it was broken or whatnot um, I like I said this is kind of over here on the right hand side is where I store all of my decorating supplies that I use throughout the year no matter what the season um, it's just like vases trays and um, lanterns and things like that and then I also have my big big signs here as well and then I have a lot of greenery I find myself always cleaning up greenery so I've kind of uh, am dividing it into three different sections uh, there's two buckets of greenery that I use in my DIYs then there's uh, smaller greenery that I use as fillers either on trays or uh, in little pots and then I have the full-size greenery which is under my stairs now and then um, what else do I keep over here I think that's pretty much it and then the rest is DIY supplies and uh, I was going to uh, was thinking about um, going through every single bin with the DIY supplies but I haven't bought uh, DIY supplies um, like from Dollar Store or Dollar Tree only maybe few for Christmas didn't buy any for for winter or whatnot because I haven't really been DIYing for since like I said since December I just wanted to make sure um, that um, I went through a lot of my supplies before I went ahead and bought some so I know that a lot of the bins don't have that much stuff so I decided not to go, not to do that part now since um, I'm pretty aware of what's in each bin and most of the stuff I do do find that I will be using
so once most of my floor was cleaned up i moved on to getting stuff organized here on the on the desk so i still have a lot of um, christmas stuff out so i just put uh, brought down my big christmas bin that i keep all of my christmas diys and supplies in and i just made sure everything went in it i have um a Christmas a big Christmas bin and big fall bin because I do find that those are my probably most uh, seasonal DIY supplies that I do um, so I have a lot of supplies for that so I have two big bins for it other than that I divide my bins into wood plastic glass paper florals um, I have cone um, pine cone bin I have foam ball bin and things like that so that way if I'm looking for um, wood dowels or wood um, beads or wood little wood signs they're all in the same bin and they're easier for me to find I also sort my uh, crafting uh, supplies like paint glue spray paint and things like that I sort them by like material so all of my acrylic paint is in one bin all my chalk paint is in a different area my glue is in one area my spray paint is the other area so um, I keep my glue sticks all together in one bin so that way it's a little bit easier to find things also I keep my hot tools in one bin my paint bowls paint cups or anything like that in the other one i pay keep all my brushes together it just makes uh, life a little bit easier because if you're a crafter like me i'm very messy crafter i am not a neat crafter and i need to know where things are because the mayhem that i create while crafting i need to have a little bit of order in it if that makes sense It was so nice to be able to finally see the floor and the nice thing about having a cleared floor of the all the stuff is that my dogs like to hang out with me wherever I am whatever I'm doing they like to hang out with me and this it gives them a lot of space for them to lay down while I'm crafting If you have been watching my channel for a while and uh, have watched my other craft uh, room makeovers, then you probably noticed that I did put a smaller table here. I used to have a big fold up table that was here and it was just taking up way too much space and I felt that I didn't need as much space for it as um, 
as the size was giving me so I did end up just uh, using the small uh, table from Ikea that I had in my daycare room and it seemed to have worked a lot better I do have to have a small table beside it to keep my paints and my glue sticks and all that stuff so it's nice and handy right beside me but as far as crafting surface this is um, big enough the day that I was filming this was actually my Dookie's third birthday. He is a Bernese Newfie. He weighs about 150 pounds and he's the sweetest boy ever. So we were doing a little celebration later on that day for him. Well, he's, we were celebrating it by them getting a marrow bone uh, as a special treat and some other food items because they are all about the food so then i am going like using this craft paper to cover up the table because the table is quite there's cuts on it there's all uh, paint and stuff and this just gives a nicer backdrop for the um when i'm diying for you to see the diys that i'm making So it is done. Oh, I feel so good to be done. Oh, this was like my eyesore Monica room for, I think since like mid-December. So I don't think I have craft in here since beginning of December, maybe end of November. Um, anything else that I made was outside of the room, but I'm so glad it's ready for all new DIYs to be made in here. So let me, I'm going to walk you through it a little bit. So I have this basket here for any dirty rags that I might accumulate. This basket I like to use for transporting crafts once they're done over to where I can take like final photos of them and stuff. And then uh, here I just have all of my like tools. I forgot to put these on top here after I was done wiping. So I got my brushes, my scissors, my craft knife, my Cricut supplies, any other things that I might need. This rag is strictly for Duke's drool because he likes to come and visit and sometimes he's drooly. So I like to have these rags all over the house so I can just wipe him. <laughs> kind of gross, but life with the new feet. And then, uh, okay, so then here is like my hot glue gun and these are trays just when I'm gluing stuff I can put them on the, these are uh, the cutting boards silicone cutting boards from the Dollar Tree then I just have water and then for paint and brushes I usually bring water so I can soak the brushes and then I, I'm using that craft paper for craft wrapping paper for my backdrop it just looks nicer than the uh, white messy stuff that's underneath and then as they as it gets dirty I just get another um, thing set up and then over here I've got my spray paint my paint and then my glue stuff so all of my paint is in here my spray paints are in here and then my glue stuff's here then I've got my hot tools in here here are some ziploc bags and odds and end bags and then this is just extra bowls and stuff for paint I got some extra stuff here this is my receipt box painter's tape and then some pens and stuff and then all of my chalk paint and my wood stains are up here and then here I have some of my uh, scrapbooking stuff uh, is in here and then just scrapbooking stuff and then some more painting stuff and then here is the month of crafts that I plan and organize and set up uh, has changed significantly from before the way that used to look like where I was doing three DIYs a week whereas now I'm down to four a month and then um, down here I just have my solar uh, flowers um, any type of greenery that I use for DIYs and then some wood wood pieces here ribbon also more extra just odds and ends pieces that I might use in in my crafts 
bigger wood pieces and then underneath is just office stuff and then my sanders down there as well and then i just have all of my craft supplies on there there's wood there's plastic all all kinds of stuff um i have it all uh, kind of divided into bins and then this here is all decorating stuff that i pull pull when i decorate my house as well as on there and then the bottom has filler uh, greenery so the smaller pieces so instead of re putting them into big bin like that where i have my big full-size pieces of greenery i put the little ones in there it's a little bit easier to find my big signs some fabric more decor pieces those pillows i am using the filling when i create new pillows i have a lot of uh, white birch apparently i do like to use it in winter and fall so i have that and i think that's about concludes it this has a lot of uh, craft supplies um so ex extra paint and then just odds and ends like i've got buttons sequins there's pops, uh, popsicle sticks, feathers, anything that I might need. This is like a leftover stuff from uh, daycare still. And then I have also some um, pipe cleaners, well, a lot of pipe cleaners. And then down here is more of my scrapbooking stuff and my stamps and stuff like that. So that's that. This <laughs> has my tax boxes and just some construction paper and uh, overflow and just um that probably could you get organized a little bit better but it's up there it doesn't bother anybody so i'm just leaving it so that's it i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh major extreme declutter and transformation i guess maybe not extreme transformation but extreme declutter and if you did please give it a thumbs up like i said i would like to have an instagram worthy craft room where all the furniture matches all the bins match everything looks so pretty and matchy matchy but that would cost me a gazillion dollars to get it to there whereas i'm just using overflow of furniture from all the other rooms and it's working for me i think it's working for me so um it is what it is for now so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and i'll see you all in my next video thanks for watching bye you the space before i started decluttering and cleaning it i had switched my gym and office space rec room space around just before christmas decorating started and i haven't really done much in sense of organization i decorated it for christmas and since christmas has been done and everything was taken down it has been sitting empty and I still had overflow of winter decor here that I was planning on using there was dog hair everywhere and I just needed to give it a good deep clean as well as organize certain areas especially right around my desk space it needed to be done the shelving around it and the dresser they have kind of have the same stuff in it it's just my cricket stuff and then overflow of notebooks and planners and things like that so it doesn't really need to be organized a whole lot because I did have to empty it in order to move the dresser over when I was doing it so I did not need to do that but here this desk just I just kind of put everything where it went and left it and it's just not been working for me. I do feel, <laughs> I always say I'm working in my dungeon because that's how it felt like it was, it felt a little dungeony. So I'm using a method cleaner to wipe everything down. I'm using an all purpose for the desk and then for some wood areas, I will be using the wood cleaner. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. My name is Sonia, and on this channel, you primarily get tons of home decorating ideas sprinkled in with some cleaning and decluttering as well, especially at this time of the year when we just want to have that fresh start for the year, want to get the house all cleaned up. I always try to declutter everything uh, before the 
nice weather starts because then I move on outside and I really just want to spend as much time outside as I possibly can so I don't want to waste it in decluttering cleaning and organizing my basement especially so I try to do this uh, about twice a year once in at this time and then again towards uh, at the beginning of fall just so I can get everything um, ready for Christmas and fall decor and then also just for to get it ready for the year this way it doesn't get well one would think it wouldn't get overly decluttered but once you see my other part which will be in the next video it was awful like it just things have gotten out of hand and I primarily do blame it our uh, main floral reno where we had moved everything all over the place and just kind of never really put it back together until now so i'm determined to get my basement looking somewhat normal uh, accessible to things and my craft room needs to be completely made over like again i had it's just disgusting i don't know like as a crafter i'm sure you feel my pain but i feel that's all i ever do is declutter and clean my craft room and it's never really clean and just an fyi i did not realize until probably evening that my shirt was on backwards so there's a pocket at the back of it and uh yeah so it was one of those days so if you've been around you know that i used to do um, home daycare but i haven't done home daycare for over a year now and i have been focusing on a couple different different avenues i do help out my husband with his business but i'm also growing um all together i have four channels um it's all with youtube's algorithm and all that stuff i divided the channels i have the this one which is my home channel and then i have a diy channel which was my original channel that everything started off and then i am back at working on my cooking channel and then i also have a vlogging channel i just wanted to have a channel um, that I can kind of throw everything on that I want to share bits and pieces of my everyday life and uh, also that one I'm focusing on just healthy habits and healthy lifestyle and all that kind of stuff so they're all linked down below if you want to check them out um, and I'm also um, I have been a Disney planner for a very long time and I have helped out many many people with their Disney trips, uh, mostly friends or friends of friends. I have never really branched out before, but uh, I am considering now putting a little bit more effort into it because I do have a bit more time on my hands and I always, always love to take an opportunity to talk about my favorite vacation destination. <laughs> so, um, that's why I need this office space and desk space so I can kind of keep everything organized. I think 
So there's still some Christmas stuff left over, like this wrapping station that I had set up. Uh, so I needed to get all that organized. I am just actually just sticking everything in a bag uh, and taking it over to the other area of the basement. And I will deal with that once I am dealing with that side of the basement. This whole project took me several days to do. Well, actually, it took me two days to do. Um, and um, I, you will see at the end result, it is quite nice. And I'm hoping to keep it that way. So here right now, I am just going to go through all the stuff underneath my desk. I have had, like I said, things brought down here from upstairs that needed to be sorted out. I have some cookbooks that I need to return to my friend. And then this bin was my junk drawer from my kitchen that I just put everything out of that junk drawer into this bin. And it's been in there since last uh, spring, pretty much when I took my kitchen apart. So I just wanted to sort everything out because I will be organizing my kitchen, my brand new kitchen, because when we, um, the kitchen came to be all finished up right around the time we were going on a vacation. So I didn't, I just kind of put things where I thought that they would be. And now that I had some time with the kitchen and kind of figured out the flow of it, because it's completely different than what it was before, uh, I am feeling confident I can organize it and set it up. Um, that will work for me for years to come. So I will be work focusing on that probably in February, beginning of February, uh, where I'm going to go upstairs and get uh, all the rooms 
uh, decluttered and organized. So stay tuned for that if you are looking for some major kitchen organization on the budget. Make sure you uh, stay tuned for that because I will be that will probably be another two part video for that as well. So the night before I was scrolling through Facebook and I came across a Dollarima Facebook page and somebody I had wanted to buy myself some proper um, whiteboards. I had one that I made out of whiteboard foam board, um, but I wanted it was just really hard to keep it on because every time I needed to clean stuff off, even though I used a permanent marker for the grid lines of the calendar, um, it did end up coming off and I always had to uh, redo it. So um, somebody had posted that Dollarama had these whiteboards for $5 um, and they are the U brand with the cork board underneath. I didn't really care whether it had the cork board underneath or not. I just wanted it to have enough space in the squares for me to write all things that I needed. So I did attempt to hang this up myself while well, I was going to and then I changed my mind and I ended up calling the reinforcements but reinforcements don't like to be on camera so you will see the before and then once it was all hung up so my husband did come to help me make sure everything's leveled because he has a major peppy if things aren't leveled so here they are and I think these are gonna work great for me to keep my social media posts and my videos and my blog posts all on there um, that's probably what I'm gonna be using it for mostly um, I did forget to mention that I am a beach body coach as well and there's a lot of social media posts that need to go up um, so I am going to be using that for that as well so one for social media and the other one for YouTube I think that should work well for me I am a very visual person I need to see things I need to write things down and I think this will be great. I am thinking about bringing over my vision board that I created or to put all over on the other side of the whiteboard. And I think that's going to make this whole area look a little bit better instead of me looking at the all of my camping supplies on a shelf in the other room. So I did watch some YouTube cleaning and decluttering videos while I was doing this to get more motivated. Now I'm going to move on to the rec room. The rec room is primarily used by my son and his friends. Once in a while my daughter and her friends hang out here, but it's mostly used by, well, young men, I should say. <laughs> so um, as you can see, I'm cleaning up some of his mess that he was supposed to clean up. And then I'm also going to remove this basket of dog toys because I, it's just not looking 
nice over here the basket ha ha seen better days i also wanted to make this back wall look a little bit prettier it's insulation it is what it is um, we don't have money at this time to finish the basement i think we spent all of our budget upstairs so i wanted to just this side of the wall the the red stuff was really bothering me the tape and how it was folded so i wanted to make it look a little bit prettier i had all these curtains from upstairs that i'm not using that I save them. I sometimes make pillowcases out of them or they're great for drop cloths as well if you need drop cloths for painting if you're not going to be using them as curtains anymore. But I decided to use these brown stripe ones just because I had the most of them in case if I wanted to add them on anywhere else they would match. And I'm threading a piece of rope um, through it and I'm going to hang them up on each side of the screw that I had screwed on. You just saw me do that. And that will just give this um, TV a nicer backdrop than the pink and red and whatever it is behind there. So I really like the way this looked. I think it just kind of anchored the space a little bit, made it look a little bit neater. And now I'm going to clean all, all these um, coffee tables, wipe them down, dust them, and then I'm going to add a little bit of decor that was still down here that I was planning on using here once I got around to doing it. This night for the last time. To put the TV on top of the fireplace and get rid of the wall unit that's there and the TV stand that's there the TV sitting on but my son said that he wasn't gonna have enough space on top of the fireplace to put his gaming stuff when he brings it down when his friends are over so I decided to put the fireplace over here 
I like having a fireplace down here because when it's really really cold outside it does get a little bit colder in the basement and when I'm here working I do get a little bit cold so I like having a fireplace here this is an electric fireplace so it's easily moved around where you need it to be so for now I'm putting it right here I didn't notice later on when I was doing a final video that it wasn't really centered so I do have to turn um, center it and I'm also which I let you know at the end as well considering maybe putting curtains on each side of the window just for a little bit more of a decorative than actual functional but I still wanted to make this fireplace look nice so I'm just adding some decor here just to kind of make and match with the rest of the space So now that I was all done with decorating, I'm just going to move all this stuff where it needs to go. Um, this area ends up being a drop zone for whenever anybody needs to bring anything down to the basement, just kind of drop it in this area and leave it here, which, you know, it, that's how the mess kind of starts. So I just wanted to sort everything out, put everything where it needs to go. And then I'm going to make um, move this plaid chair that's in the right hand corner and make it um, the way I used to have it, a little meditation area. I meditate and do my kind of morning affirmations and reading in that chair every morning b before I work out. So I like to have the space a little bit nicer. So I'm going to set up a little area over here, move the chair, and that way if my son needs it, he can always move it back. And then the exposed concrete that's in front of the fireplace, Duke can have that space back so he can go lay down whenever he needs to be near me and feel the need to cool off. He loves to lay on the concrete. This is a nice stand that matches my dresser that's over in the office. They are actually part of my daughter's bedroom set, but she needed, she wanted a big desk. So then the dresser and the nightstand, two nightstands didn't fit. She still has one in her room and we bought her a really long uh, desk from Ikea. And then we also got a tall dresser instead of a wide dresser a tall dresser takes up a little bit less room so that way she can have her desk for the computer and all the needs that she has for studying and both of my kids are in university my daughter is taking kinesiology and my son is doing business so they uh, both have desks in their room because they do especially when they started university it was all online so they needed the desk space So to finish off my cleaning, I'm going to vacuum this whole area up really well. Uh, Frank, this is Frank's uh, night sleeping area as well. So he does use this room for sleeping. 
so there's a lot of white dog hair that you might not be visible to to you when you're down there because of the carpet but once I vacuum I had to empty this thing like three times because it was full of dog hair It is all done. I'm just gonna give you a little look. I think it looks pretty good. I opened up the space there. The dogs can sleep on the concrete patch that's there instead of trying to crowd in here with me. So let me walk you through it. So over here, my husband still needs to fix the light, but he did put up my board, so that's good. So my desk is pretty much the way I like it to be. I have enough writing room enough space for the computer i did the clutter underneath i just have my traveling basket and then that's the one that i take my planners and anything i if i'm working upstairs i'll put it in there and then i can take it up and down a garbage can is down there and then i have my extra there's a microphone and headphones extra plug and then some files and then oh almost fell over and then I can't wait to fill those up. Uh, I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna organize on them. So this shelf, I still want to decorate. I just have to uh, clean out my craft and decor room in order to get to some spaces there. And then I keep that chair for, I don't like using my good chair upstairs to go up and down for things. So I use this chair to do that. It's an old chair and then all my, planning stuff's there. I have to decorate this. And then all the tier trays are over here. My daughter's board is underneath. Usually that's the, uh, not the skiing, snowboarding board. Uh, is there, it usually goes in the other area, but like you will see that area is a flipping mess. And then this area, I like the backdrop there. I think it just cleaned it up. I wish I could put it all over, but that one was the worst, I feel. I would like to do something over here. I was actually thinking about just maybe doing double up curtains and then so they kind of drape down. And then um, I think my fireplace is not centered, but I have to center it. And then they'll just come on each side of the fireplace and then I can I don't really need to shut it because it just goes into my backyard, but um, I think that would look good. So I'll figure that out, see what I do with that. So let me show you here. So like I said, this is primarily for my kids to hang out. Mostly my son and his friends hang out here. So I, all the decor is stuff that I had around the house. Uh, it's boys, well, it's men, it's not boys anymore. So you know how they are uh, so I don't um, um, I don't want to put my nicest stuff here let's just put it that way and then but it's a great space for them to hang out and then over here I just have the fireplace again because it does get sometimes pretty cool in here so I want to have that warmth and then I did move that chair here, and this is my meditation corner. I did have one before, and I just put it back together again. He can move that chair back and forth as he needs it, but uh, when I need it, it's right here. And then Jim, I just vacuumed it. That's all I pretty much did. I did a huge organization and all that stuff um, about a month ago when I switched everything around, so I'm just keeping that as it is. So I hope you guys had enjoyed this video. It's just a bit of a different uh, look to a space because it's not finished, but we are making it work. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's uh, video is again cleaning and decluttering, moving through my house. And we are in the basement in my food storage room.
I figured I'd get this one sorted so that way I can put, start putting things back. I want to replace that shelf there, uh, get rid of some of these bottles, sort all this through. I have tons of bins to work uh, through. There's a whole area in here, so it just needs to be tidied, sorted out. Got sausages still curing. So I'm, this is going to be what I'm going to be working on today and then i'm going to be also working on the rest of the basement for next couple videos because i have a ton of stuff to go through and i wanted it to be clean and sorted so that way when i start decluttering the upstairs uh, and uh bringing stuff down that uh, had made it way up the stairs i can just put it exactly where it goes i don't have to deal with these crowded shelves and know where to put it so we're going to start shelf by shelf, area by area, and work our way all the way over there. So I brought a little box for donation because I'm not sure how much donations are going to be here. And then I also brought a garbage bag. There's a mouse trap because you never know. So I haven't had a problem yet, but you never know. And then, uh... So I'm going to get started. There's some glass here that needs to be disposed of and things like that. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless because I let you down. I hope there's some way I can I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there selfish and made you believe that you're not good enough but you're all I need I take you places that you've never been I would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there
once I had moved the shelves around, I really thought that that shelf was the same as all of these shelves, but apparently it is not, but it still works well in this space if it's right in. So I'm going to add a couple things in there. I think that one is the same, but this one isn't. So I'm gonna add stuff to it and then move on to this area. So I am all done. I'm just going to give you a little tour. I think it looks much better than what it did before. So over here I stuck to kind of baking supplies and then I have also our Brita water bottles that we usually take when we travel and a couple extra water bottles. I could probably pare that down a little bit more but for now it's in that one bin and it's really gonna stay that way for for now i could probably like i said get rid of the contigo bottles because we do not use those but these ones we do use especially in summertime because they do keep water pretty cold and then this is all my like cookie decorating stuff i need to move this to a different spot but um it looks a little messy but it doesn't really get touched unless i'm making cookies where I'm decorating them and since I don't really run a home daycare anymore I don't really do too many cookies except for Halloween and uh, Christmas but that's about it so I'm just gonna keep that there and see how it goes and if it's not working I will change that up then I have my vases and then food storage containers now this could definitely use a little bit more work but i'm just not ready yet to completely get rid of it for now everything has its own lid so that was very important for me and then these ones i do use whenever i make broth or soups for the freezer i do use those quite a bit so sometimes that's completely empty and this those are just extra lids for those. And then the rest is food storage. Now, I, like I said, I could probably pare that down a little bit more, but I'm just gonna leave it as is and uh, see how often I reach into it. And if I don't reach into it in the next two, three months, I will probably get rid of most of that stuff as well. And then this is what's taking over my life. <laughs> It's these mason jars because I have them everywhere. So I have some here, some here, and then these are whenever we host a party or go camping or go to the beach, we like to make ice uh, blocks of ice. So we will um, make a whole bunch of these and keep them in a freezer too. So that way, if we need them, they're nice and solid and frozen. So I use these containers and these containers for that. There's just a couple canning supplies here. Then I have my canning pots, uh, my rotisserie, uh, my smaller stock pot, my big, not the summer, the rotisserie pan or roast, roasting pan. And then I have a roasting pan with the lid over there. And then I have another giant, um, pot there where I make my broth. 
in often this is more like if I'm making a giant soup but if I'm making a giant thing of broth I will use that one I have my big stone there and then inside there I have hooks for bacon that my when my husband hangs it up here so trying to keep them all in there and then I have a stone that I'm not it's a lid but you can, I can also use it as cooking it, like put food in it. So I don't use it often, but I do use it once in a while. So it's there. And then all of my freezer meal pans are there for lasagnas, um, whatever I need to, like chicken cacciatore, whatever I need a casserole dishes for, I use that there. And then I have all of my pizza stone. I'm actually taking these up because I will be making more frozen pizzas for the kids for the freezer. So I have those. These are barbecue pizza stones, sometimes uh, pizza things. So this is what they look like. It's all pan and there's more pizza things. I get these at Dollarama. They're Betty Crocker and they're a perfect size. I make the pizza. I have, if you want to see how I make freezer meal pizzas it's over on my cooking channel you can go check that out and then i use a, i have some bigger uh, two of these they're just the bigger pizzas that's usually i use that if i'm making pizza at the time for if we're having people over or whatnot then i have just some couple barbecue supplies here then my husband's outdoor cooking stuff and then just a couple things left over from my canning are here um, these are boxes of, I recently purchased these, so they are just staying here, uh, for, cause they're still under warranty. I have this bin that is a Tupperware bin. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. I'm just keeping it cause I paid a pretty penny for it, but currently not using it and I don't want to just ditch it. And then in here, now... A lot of these could definitely be a lot more fuller, but if I make my sauce and my salsa, I need the space. Like I'm going to obviously use up all those, so I'll have space there. But I like to keep space where I can move a couple things down here, and then um, I'll have more space for all my canned goods. So in here, just this year, I did not can anything, so um, that's why it's so... Uh, looking bare just because I had so much stuff to still go through from the year before and I didn't want to pile it up so I want to go, go through everything and then I'll start from scratch this year so up on top are just items that I'm not using currently and um, like I have my parents drink what's called Turkish coffee so those are um, mugs for that but I only use two for them when they come over and it's a whole set. My mom got it for me, so I'm just keeping it up there. There's a couple cooking things up there that I don't use often. Then I have my green tea set up there that once in a while I use. So over here I'm going to keep extra drinks. Um, for I need to get a couple cases of water, which will probably go on the bottom there or just on the floor. It doesn't really matter, but... Uh, Obviously, I need to restock some of it, more soft drinks than actually beer and stuff. But over here is uh, my big salad bowls and my party salad bowl. Then I have my little, I don't know what these are called, but you can like, you can do sal um, veggie trays and fruit trays. And then I have smaller ones. We like to take these whenever we're going on picnics or beach and stuff like that. And I'll fill one with fruit and one with veggies. And then I have my marinating thing, and then I have, need my husband to go through these. They're part of his rotisseries, which are all in there, but I'm not sure which ones work, which ones don't. So that's over there, our co little cooler. Ooh, something fell. And then over here, I just have the sausages that are already cured and they are just vacuum sealed and in there and then I have my giant pot on top I make my salsa and my sauce in that pot and then here I need my husband to make me legs for this table this is a daycare table that I camped and but it's a toddler table so it's very low but it's an extremely good quality tabletop so I just need him to build me proper legs so that way it's going to be my crafting table. Hopefully it won't move as much as the one that I have currently. So here I just have extra bins. Again, when I did 
run daycare, I needed all these bins, so I have tons of bins, but I do reach for them for different things, so I just want to keep them. Um, in the corner, like I said, I kept, these are the toddler legs, and then I have rotisserie stuff, and then the big rotisserie for the pig roaster that's in the garage. And then here are just extra. These are food safe containers that my husband uses to mix meat and make bacon and stuff like that. Um, that's an extra dog food container. And behind there is a box of mason jars. So behind these, there's a box of mason jars, 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 and lids. And this is a all the things for the pig roaster and that's about it and i think i hit my head on these sausages about 20 times so i hope you had enjoyed this um not very pretty organizational uh, video but it had to be done i'm so glad i did it it has all this space here now um hopefully not to fill it with more stuff but more easier to move around um this is more uh, easier ac accessible things here I'm sure there's stuff in the rest of the basement that need to come back in here anyways so I'm sure I'll fill it a little bit more so I hope you had enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and um, if you're not subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button for even more decor and organizational videos and I will see you all in my next one thanks so much for watching